My beloved love, there might be a lot of synchronicity around it. But the purpose of many of these meetings is because these souls can sense in this giant interconnected web of collective consciousness that you are someone who has the ability to transmute their shadow into light energy. Now, another kind of side element, a sort of aside here to this first sign, is that if someone is at a lower level of spiritual consciousness and they do share these shadow aspects of themselves with you, sometimes they will do so almost accidentally without realizing what they're doing or what they're saying. So others can sometimes feel as though they overshared with you, and they might actually pull away because their human logical self starts wondering why did I just share so much information with this person? I barely know them, etc. These types of thoughts can run through their mind, and they may actually share very heavy, dark, or intense personal details, and then suddenly pull away, almost out of embarrassment or feeling like it's illogical that they gave you so much information. So, the second sign that you have the gift of illumination is that you can unconsciously or sometimes consciously as well recognize shadow in others. Part of this is because of that soul training you've undergone yourself in this lifetime, where you have had to, of necessity, transmute so much of your own shadow that you've become very skilled at being able to identify shadow aspects in other people, even if they don't vocalize those shadow aspects. So, of course, we know that people who are adept at reading energy are capable of picking up on things that the other person may have not told them. This is a specific variation of that psychic gift, where a lot of what you pick up from other people tends to be related to their trauma, their shadow, or their hardship. So, you are naturally intuitive, but your specialization is being able to pick up or identify things about what that person has gone through, shadow aspects of their life or their past that they haven't yet told you. For example, you might be speaking with someone, and it just pops into your mind that this person has gone through a particular type of trauma or hardship. And then later on, that same person might confirm to you that they did, in fact, go through something of that nature. But it seems like this particular masculine keeps not taking those chances as they come up, which is why you have probably been feeling frustrated because you can sense it in your intuition, but it's not being said. I do see, though, another one of those moments has either recently happened or is coming up again, where they are going to be given another opportunity from the universe to seize the chance to communicate something. And in this stagnant energy that they've been in, and so, in the extended version of the reading on Patreon, I will be channeling more into all of this. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.